All week, the I-Team has been telling you about the zip codes with the most car and home break-ins in the Valley. A lot of us take comfort in knowing that our four-legged friends are keeping an eye on our home when we're away, but are they really effective? Team 12's Casey Nolan is putting Fido to the test. If you're like a lot of dog owners, you've probably wondered what your dog does when left alone at home. Probably gonna go up on the sofa and yeah. look out to see if I went out there. But how would your dog perform if left to protect your home? How good of a guard is your dog? We tested three houses and the canines who called them home. To find out, can we really rely on our dogs to protect our property? Helping us out, Sergeant Justin Rail, protected and posing as our thief. First up, Jovi. Her dad, Matt Michaels, is hoping Jovi can at least act tough. Uh, she might have a ferocious bark. With the house wired with cameras, Matt slips out like he's leaving for the day, and Jovi does Jovi, until she hears something in the hallway. There's that bark that I thought she might have. But when Sergeant Rail breaks in, at first, Jovi seems less hostile and more host. It takes a minute for her to find her bark. <laughs> Okay. Just let him grab the computer and walk right out there. So, what did you think? I guess it's a little concerning. Uh, if, say, I'm out of town or my wife's out of town and someone were to break in, I think we'd be in trouble. Next up, a doggy duo, sisters Augie and Mozzie. They both will bark. With our cameras rolling in Robin Ehrlich's house, she tells her dog she's headed out, and a few minutes later, Sergeant Rail creeps in. <laughs> No attack, but no backing down either. <laughs> the bulldog's getting after it a little bit. She's gonna let you know she's not too keen. Our last house is home to nine-year-old lab bulldog mix Cooper and four-year-old lab Vizsla mix Milton, both trained to hunt. When Sergeant Rail comes to the door, not even a bark. He's welcomed in. Kill him with kisses. Uh, I thought they were at least bark. <laughs> when a dog is barking, that's their job. Sergeant Rail says we shouldn't expect our pets to attack an intruder. That usually takes some training. To train a dog like that for your house, I mean, you wouldn't ha be able to have any visitors. You would have to lock the dog up. The real lesson, he says, may be for us. We should instead think of our dogs as an extra alarm system. Sergeant Rail says the bark is enough to make most would-be intruders move along. And let's give Cooper and Milton a break. It's hard to say how they would have reacted to a broken window or a door that was forced open. Huh. So basically you've got a good noisemaker pretty yeah. much, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then they'll show you where to go for the jewelry. For the, right. They're like over here. Here's a treat. Here's where, right, she keeps here's where her the cash. jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> or they'll lick them to death. Yeah. They're like, oh, hi. You came first before my mom or dad. Yeah, Brody would be very a play nice. Play date. Yes. Let's he might be, have a scary bark, but once you're in there, he'd be like, you're my long lost best friend. <laughs> That's what labs are for.